like this. At least I think you grew. Say good morning, Lisi. <laughs> Previously on Jeremy versus the animals tearing up his yard. So I've been having an ongoing problem that some animal are pulling up my grass every night. The war rages on. I finally have this sprinkler that showed up. So the sprinkler motion detects them at night and then squirts them really loud with water. Okay, he's gonna sneak up. Oh! <laughs> We'll see how tonight goes. <laughs> Nene, look at the yard. Nothing has been turned over in this yard. It worked. I sure hope that continues to work because I want this grass to grow. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's time to get out of bed. Good morning. Good morning. To you, and you, and you, and you, and you. So I'm getting the activity ready for today for homeschool, and it needs batteries. And we only had two left in the package, so. Borrowing. Found a toy, and I'm them. And I'm doing everything one-handed today because this little peanut just wants to be held. Is she teething, maybe? I think so. We read a book this morning about the historic 1906 San Francisco earthquake, and afterwards the kids decided to build something. We built the San Francisco background when the San Francisco earthquake happened. I, I built this. I see that, it's 3D. I built 3D. this, it's hard to make it. Stay. And I kind of built this, I tried. Okay, all right, now what are you guys gonna do with it? Shake it! Trying to see if it'll withstand the earthquake. <laughs> talked a bunch about how the earth, what does it have on the top? Crust. crust. It's crust. the crust, okay? And what's underneath the crust? The mantle. The, the mantle. mantle, and the mantle is softer. And then there's a solid core, core, core. to the earth. There's a major earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> so an Oreo cookie is not exactly like the earth, obviously, because what shape is it? So the crust is made up of plates. Mm -hmm. pieces, right? And the plates kind of float around here on top of the mantle. And we've talked about how when the plates bump into each other, they can cause an earthquake. Did you know that the plates move up against each other in different oh. ways? We are gonna learn four different ways that the plates can interact with each other. So the first one is called divergent. divergent. And it's when the plates move apart like this. How did okay. that make an earthquake? Because it's moving. It goes, oh, I'm moving apart. Like this. That. The next one is called convergent. Con and that's when one of them goes down and the other one goes up. How does that be scary earthquake? for the people on that side? Let's go. Or the I people think on this the bottom, be scary they get way. colored. The next one is called transform. And watch what it does. So that's when the plates move like this. We're gonna talk about one more and it's called hot spot. It's when the hot mantle pushes the whole plate one direction like this. So guys, you can actually see evidences of this kind of plate movement in nature. You guys wanna see pictures? So this is called lava beds. So here's convergent. Remember, that's where one plate goes down and the other plate goes up. Mm -hmm. Mount Rainier. And that's when the plates, one goes down and the other one goes up. So here's a transform. Wow. Here's a divergent where it opens up and you can see some of the lava flows, it says. And here's Yellowstone. And Yellowstone National Park is one of the hot spots and it makes the plate move away from where it's super hot. Do you guys want to try building some of these on your own? Yeah. Need some Oreos for that? Yeah. Aww. So the first one I want you guys to do is going to be the hot spot where the plate moves away from the hot. Can you guys all do that? Did it. Break it in half. There you go. Transform where they slide along each other. We want to do divergent. Like this? Divergent where it opens up. Okay, the last one we have is convergent. So do convergent. Are you eating the earth? There have been very bad earthquakes. <laughs> Bring an earthquake. This was a yummy lesson. Mm -hmm. I just want to eat it all up. Plate, which allows some of the force to dissipate, head back to the easier path. The way these plates curve essentially channels the shockwaves around the building. They're testing facility. 
implicitly maybe for performance. Where they could build a building and simulate an earthquake and then they could adapt their design and see what they need to change to make the buildings work better. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to try this game and see if we can build structures that could survive an earthquake. Okay, okay go. Whoa. Is that a one? So that's a one magnitude earthquake. Three, four. That's just two. More. Uh oh. No. The tripod. Ah! Playing with the little fireman. Andrew thought it was fun that Janae was playing with the people. Is that a person? Ah. <gasps> a hat. A hat. They have hats on. And shoes. Shoes. Shall we all build the first one yes. together? Yeah. Okay, everybody grab a piece. Shall we begin? Let's begin. Oh no! Go up to two. So we're each gonna build our own building and see which one can withstand the biggest earthquake. Still there. <laughs> Hovering. Four. Four. Whoa. All right, up to three. <laughs> up to four. <laughs> Her house is gonna withstand the most. <gasps> Janine, She's winning. She's winning. How far can it go? I'm number oh. one. I'm number oh. one. Yeah. So each of the kids are drawing a design for a building to withstand an earthquake. We're designing lots of buildings. This part is stretchy, so if it leans one day, it stretches. It stretches, but then it comes right back up. Oh, cool! So you made a very flexible building. Kendra's turn. What do you call your building? The Arc de Triomphe. <laughs> Will it withstand a one-level building, a one-level earthquake? Up to two. I used quite a bit of pieces. Let's see what happens. What flash up there? He's at one. Whoa! Did any of our buildings make it past two? No, mine do. So this one's an interesting design. What's your prediction? What number is it gonna go down? Two. Go to, go to two. Whoa! Ah! What number did it get to? Two. Caleb, how you doing buddy? Good. Where's the other kid next to you? Who's that? Hi. Oh. <laughs> so my dad was calling to check up on the kids. Poppy Rod is going gluten free, like Caleb. Oh, she's showing you her shoes. Oh, show me your shoes. Oh, those are good looking shoes. Laura, are you learning how to type? No. This is going to help you learn how to type. Really? Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Do you want to come and start your keyboard class? Sure. Come on, let's go. I just got it all set up for you. Koala. Elise, I think you grew. I think I did. <laughs> Those used to be long pants on her. Not so much anymore. <laughs> so tight. Okay, go put them in the grow out pile. Okay. So we are getting ready to go on a trip and the place we're going has colder temperatures than here. And so I'm needing to go through the kids' clothes. Like I need to make sure that they have long pants that even fit them because I haven't worn long pants since the winter time. And making sure they all have closed toed shoes and jackets, just all that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm working on this afternoon. This is the pile of pants that still fit. I know. This is the pile of pants that do not fit anymore. And most of these are like pajama pants. I know. You're gonna need some jeans. To be honest, I am very tired, and we had a very rough afternoon at our house. Just general grumpiness combined with me losing my patience, I think some tiredness, I think we're all worn out. It's been a busy full week, and basically we just took that out on each other. I ended up yelling, and I hate it when I do that. It was just a really rough afternoon. So finally we gathered everybody together, we sat down on the couch, and we talked as a family. We talked about our family goal, which is to have a peaceful, loving, kind home. And we talked about how, at that moment, that was not where we were at at all. We talked about one of our favorite family quotes, which is either you win or you learn. So since we're not winning at the moment, what are we learning? And we went around and we each said something that we were learning from our day and the things that were challenging us and the things that we learned about ourselves and the ways that we should be acting. We apologized to each other. We knelt and prayed together as a family and asked for the strength, the miracle of God intervening on our hearts and helping us to forgive and love each other, to be more patient and kind and to move on and have a better day tomorrow. So now we are getting up from that prayer. We are headed out. We're gonna eat pizza. We're gonna go to bed and we're gonna start over tomorrow because that is what happens in families. Each day is not going to be phenomenal. There's gonna be grumpy, hard days, and those days require forgiveness and trying again. We're getting pizza. So they made a gluten-free pizza for Caleb. So what did you put on your pizza? Um, broccoli, pineapple, bacon. And you left one triangle, just cheese? For Laura. Oh, that's Laura's. Laura will grow into having more toppings. <laughs> I am so excited. Mine looks the best. It's too hot, but this part's not too hot. <laughs> So tomorrow we are moving on from earthquakes to study bridges, all the different types. Good night, Jay House out. Hi, my name is Maya Munden. I'm from Marna, Kansas, and I'm reading this book called El Defo, and I think Elise will love this book. Good night, Jay House out. Hi, I'm Tegan. I'm leaving you off museum. And I love Diary of a Rumpy Kid and the Griffiths, the very bad book, the beast, and amazing stories. And right now I am reading Diary of a Rumpy Kid. Jay House out. <laughs> Ribbit! <laughs> this is my British accident. The Yard Enforcer. <laughs> <laughs>